Hello and welcome to Carmen Miller's Talk of the Town Carolinas. I'm your host, Patty Mercer, by the beautiful Catawba River, soon to be the Catawba Park. Let's check it out. This is beautiful here today, and of course, it's going to be even more beautiful. Yes, but we're pretty excited about uh, our Catawba Park campaign that we're getting started. Um, you may have heard about the 1982 campaign. Yeah, which it was a little confusing for me because, uh, of course, I think of 1982, it's a special year for me. <laughs> but actually, there's a decimal in the middle of this 1982 as it relates to Tika K. Right, well, sometimes you have to get creative when you're doing fundraising. So it was the brain, <laughs> it was originally the brainchild of uh, Mayor Shepard. Mr. It, Creativity himself. Yes. When Emma graduated from High Point, um, they came to each one of the alumni um, and said the Alumni Association needs funds and, and, and how they can continue the Alumni Association going on. High Point was for founded in 1924. Okay. So they've asked each one of the alumni to contribute $19.24 for the next two, three years. And that's, that's how the Alumni Association right. continues to operate. So I thought, why can't we do that in TKK? That's manageable. And we have 3,500 homes in yes. the city of TKK. So if we can just get 2,500 homes to contribute to this $19.82 campaign. Less than 20 okay, bucks. I mean, exactly, less than 20 bucks. We get close to $50,000. You know, which can be our kickstart to fundraise and how we can start a fundraising campaign. Right. Uh, without, ta you know, going into tax dollars, which is what we don't want to do. Yes. So 1982 is really just, it's our Kickstarter campaign for our, our TKK Forever Foundation, which is a supporting organization of uh, the city of TKK. Um, our overall, our goal is to begin fundraising for Catawba Park, which is kind of what we're looking at here. It'll eventually uh, connect. There's a little incentive that you have for neighbors seeing neighbors supporting Catawba Park. What okay, is that? so here's the deal. Okay. You go to City Hall. Yes. And you sign up and uh -huh. you give us your information, your email address and your name and your phone number. Okay. And we will give you a sticker. That says TGK Forever 1982. Woo, I love it. You can put it on the back of your car. Yes. You can put it on your boat. You can put it on your golf cart. You can put it anywhere you, know, you and like you it. You can put it anywhere you want it. Yes. Okay. And that can be your 1982. At some point in time, we're going to come and we're going to ask you to contribute more dollars towards it. But at this point, it's just it's an awareness that we're doing Catawba Park and what Catawba Park is. And, and signing up for this with the email, we're going to send you information about Catawba right. Park. We're going to keep you posted about what's going on. Mm -hmm. That's the question that's around the city all the time. What's going on with Catawba Park? You know what? Sign up. Yeah. Get, get your sticker. Put it on your car. And you know what? Don't put it on your mailbox because it may confuse the postman <laughs> or whatever. But put it on your car. Okay. Yes. And then you can embarrass your neighbors saying, hey, I know what's going on. Right. What about you? A little bit exactly. of a competition going on. Exactly. You so. can even make a hashtag. You can put it on social exactly. media. Exactly. It's, I haven't and, thought about the hashtag yet. Yeah, hashtag, yeah, baby. we're going to have to do that. The fact that Tika K saw the potential in activities for all of us to enjoy right here on the Catawba. Mm -hmm. We've seen activity on the other side of the Catawba, but actually... Well, TKK was right there, you know, <laughs> kind of leading the cause. So I think you really have to give the city credit for uh, for that for that vision of Catawba Park because they've been working on it for for yes. quite some time. But I think it's just like anything else; it comes down to manpower. Yes. Uh, you know, how, who's actually going to push push this forward? And, and dollars. Money, 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 money. So we go back to 1982. Right. How does 1982 campaign? How does it impact? Catawba Park and development there. So it's really it's a one big giant campaign. And let me tell you how it's okay. it's connected. So 1982 is the Kickstarter campaign. So we're hoping to just raise some initial marketing money in order to be able to create the larger campaign of courting corporate donors and being able to go out into the community and put on events and create these larger fundraising activities for Catawba Park. So it's consider it seed money yes. for the Tiga K Forever Foundation, which is a supporting organization for the city, which our first mission will be to raise money for Catawba Park, close the funding gap. Park's gonna be about $12 million. The only way the city is gonna build Catawba Park without getting people to support it and getting corporations to come in like Manchester does and things like that, mm -hmm. or like the park over by Comporium that, that Fort Mill just did. Yes. The only way we're gonna do that is to be able to have a 
promotional piece mm -hmm. that we can send to corporations. We can talk about it. Um, and the only way we're going to be able to do that without touching tax dollars is your $19.82. There you go. The city of TKK had this vision almost 10 years ago. Right. Now, with so much going on, you know, residents are increasing, developments are increasing, the need for activities around the lake, around Catawba, it's, it's bigger than ever. So, is that what has this whole Catawba Park in full speed ahead? In, in overdrive, so Yeah, to speak. overdrive. Look, we have ball fields on the peninsula, okay? We have Rundy Field, we have Turner Field, but they're just not enough for us and we need to do something else for recreational rocks. Mm -hmm. We've been able to partner with Duke, um, and Duke is able to um, donate some prop, well, not really donate, they'll still own it. Um, as part of their FERC agreement, they have to provide access to the river right. for the residents, for those who do not live on the water. So they're gonna partner with us, and they're gonna allow us to have a passive park on their property, which is where we are now, as part of part of the Duke property. Okay. We've spoken to Springs, um, and they're going to be able to work with us to put some ball fields on the property down there. And the city owns approximately 10 plus acres. You know that we're going to put down. It, that'll be the first phase of Catawba Park, um, and we're going to have ball fields um, on there, baseball fields, um, two baseball fields. Hopefully, we're going to get a small diamond in there too for for the t-ball kind of thing. Yes. And then out in the outfield, we're going to make the multi-purpose field. So when you're not using them for baseball, you can use it for soccer or for football or for lacrosse. There's a lot of opportunities for corporations to be involved in something that is going to be so great right. for the community. It's open to everyone because it will be a public park. Right. And it's in Tiga K, so it's helping with some of the needs that you might have with parks and recreation and all of this. So how can people get involved? Um, well, besides, of course, because, besides giving. Of course, so as we move forward with the Tiga K Forever Foundation, we're obviously we're going to need more volunteers for subcommittees and fa uh, fundraising committees, um, more uh, different events that we'll be holding throughout the city. So we'll need, uh, of course, manpower, uh, awareness. We're gonna we need people's any connections that, that that you have to the large corporate sponsorships, large corporate donors, and that's part of our timeline with Tiga K Forever is we're coming up with a kind of a, a menu of, of different options and sponsorship, op naming rights, opportunities, all sorts of ways for residents and then the corporate and then small businesses in Tiga K to be, to be involved. Well, that's it for this edition of Carmen Miller's Talk of the Town Carolinas. If you would like to see more beautiful homes in our area, simply go to homesfortmill.com and to become part of Catawba Park 1982 Forever campaign is where to start. Until next time, this is Patty Mercer. Bye-bye.